What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We have some more Assassin's Creed Mirage gameplay news, breakdown, whatever you want to call it. Uh, looks like we're getting a developer gameplay breakdown for this game. I wanted to dive in. It's about nine minutes long. I wanted to take a look at this with you guys, react to some things that they're going to say, and um, just see more of the breakdown for Assassin's Creed Mirage. The hype for this game is super high right now. I'm very excited for it. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. Let's see what we got. The art director of Assassin's Creed Screen Mirage. Hi there, I'm Stéphane Boudon, Creative Director on Assassin's Creed Mirage, and today we are going to walk you through our most recent trailer. Welcome to Look Baghdad. at that, man. Oh my this god, is it looks good. This glimpse of this vibrant city. We are in the 9th century Middle Ages, and as you can see, it's a dusty and sunny city as expected. But That's bright, it's though. also a garden city with a lot of flowers. I was gonna say, it's trees. super bright pops out so basim is heading back to the bureau in the way he stumbled on a there's the parkour target. right off the rip they know so he will uh, take this opportunity to make the assassination but he will uh, quickly nice. get into trouble oh yeah and as we can see we can uh, already distinguish our first regular enemies which are the caliphal guard the uh, guys in red you're gonna uh, meet a lot of them in the game, we, we encourage you to flee and to vanish. Basim uh, is a glass cannon character, and uh, this scaffolding ingredient in really I one like of this the addition. That's cool to be able to escape to away. Get out tight situation like that. Yep, yeah, I agree. I like that. This is a water city. It's unexpected. Many people think it's just dust and sand. I you love the parkour. Can see now corner swings, good old vibes from pre. So I will say that I think there's going to be some people that are going to have an issue with this because of how slow he looks like he's moving. It's not, um, it's not very, it's not completely smooth, but that is Assassin's Creed though. Like if you played the older Assassin's Creed games, it's not super smooth. It's a matter of, uh, like being practical about what's happening with the jumping and doing all the different, you know, parkour things and all that kind of stuff. So pay attention in this game whether you see kind of how... It's not like running through things. It's a matter of being tactical on where he's jumping Previous and whatnot. So, games, I'm already AC noticing games, it, but I love it. That's what we want. The very first one. See, like that part right there. It's not like you're not zooming over it like an arcade. It's actually, you know. And here is a carpet. If you, if you don't link, uh, you can see there is an Assassin's Crest just here. Carpets are, are part of the, the world of, uh, of Mirage. This specific carpet with the Assassin's Crest on it uh, means you are very, very close with secret entrance to an assistant bureau. Okay. This is something new. Alhamdulillah. So in this scene, uh, Basim is coming back from his first assignment for killing uh, one of the main targets of the game. Alhamdulillah. A first of many achievements to come, Basim. You, we meet uh, Abu Jafar. Uh, this is one of the historical characters we're going to meet in Assassin's Creed Mirage. Is a genius. Is a very important. Is going to provide you good tools. There's still much work to do. Bro, she has such a, like I can never remember her name, but her voice is always so unique. I scouted the city for where we could erect more bureaus. I have found dwellings in three districts that are most unassuming. Ebed and Rebecca have arrived from Alamut and set off to El Abyssia and Garch. I will make my way to Sharqia shortly. And I will join Rebecca in Karh, where corruption is as common as the arid air. See Abu Jafar about some things he's been working on, then come find us. Keep in mind, guys, this is a work in progress. I'm noticing that it doesn't look very polished have a look, yet. Basim. I may have something that is of interest to you. With the character models, so keep that in mind. They are very important for an assassin. They will uh, help you to deal with complex situations you will encounter in, inside the game. You will have the possibility uh, to this unlock a new tool each time you climb a rank by fulfilling uh, your assignments. Okay. And each of your tools can be upgraded as well through a skill tree where you will be able to choose the behavior of your tools to match your playstyle. For instance, you can the decide to make the projectile of your blood art damage your enemies, put them to sleep, or turn them berserk. Figured that was going to happen regardless. The contract board is where uh, are gathered all the side faction oh. assignments. Each of them uh, has a specific contractor request also. 
you might recall from a past game, and you can try say, to fulfill them thing. to gain more rewards. Seeing you contract can find materials before, for your new. tools and your uh, gear, but you can find new also uh, specific token that will help you to open new opportunities inside the, the mission of Basim. I didn't play Valhalla much. Did they add this in Valhalla? Now this looks good. Now the lighting in Baghdad was the first thing we set up with the artistic yeah. team. We wanted the to have it right and not solid. to use too much filters and have a kind of uh, natural Very beauty of the lighting, which is really giving some gorgeous point of views on the city itself at every time of day. So we, here you can have a glimpse of that. What do you that. see, Enkidu? From yeah. a personal perspective, I, I grew up in this place of the world and it was really the first thing I want us to, to be good at was the lighting, to give me the feeling to be back here. And uh, I think we achieved that. Yeah, the character models so in the cutscene is very iconic in Assassin's Creed. Really worked on, but, but for everything us, else it was here? also a necessary tool to bring back the stealth, moment to moment uh, gameplay. So you will more rely right. on your eagle vision when it's come to do infiltration, look yep. out for guards, or check uh, their vision cones. And uh, those uh, vision cones are uh, new to Assassin's Creed uh, Mirage. Social stealth is back. You can use it organically. Love that. Or you can love it, bribe love it, love it, love also it, love it. merchants group to create a patrol blending opportunity to infiltrate specific areas. When we crafted Mirage, we wanted to be able to change tools quickly to face any situation. That's why we created this wheel, very reactive, very immersive, and that will slow down time to let you react. Okay. Imagine if you could do like a double assassination there. Assassinate the guy that's sleeping, then assassinate the guy that was standing up. That would have been dope. Here is a marksman above the tower, and it's uh, why we cannot use Enkidu. Uh, so we will need to get rid of him. Basim used the uh, noisemaker to distract the, the first guard. The, the noisemaker is very noisy and can attract oh, multiple NPC in a given radius. So Basim here oh. quickly reacts with one of his uh, skills, letting him the opportunity to use a knife to do a double assassination. I love and that. Avoid very uh, efficiently to spread the alert. So many times in past and games, you didn't have that. And you're just screwed. And to enjoy again the use of our eagle and Kidu. And to enjoy also the view, we are actually above the Prince Palace, close to the Tigris River. And uh, we are not just here to enjoy the scenery, but we have a target to find. I love how they're talking over this and giving us detail about what's going on. Like, this is awesome. And here it is. Okay, I'm interested to see how he does about this. Is he gonna go and attack everyone? Like, is he going in guns blazing? Or are we gonna be silent here? Assassin Focus is a new ability for Basim that allows him to quickly chain assassination. It's really a showcase of Basim's incredible agility and mastery. But of course, it's not something you can use at will. Basim will need to perform stealth skills to fill up his assassin focus gauge to use this ability. Interesting. Okay. Uh, that's unique. You can unique. see Basim planning his uh, assassination, but just before striking, he will uh, land uh, a trap. I love this. Like, this is, this, this is the Assassin's Creed that we love. The methodical, trying to figure out what we want to do with the assassination, setting traps. I love this too, with the knife. I love that. That is so sweet. Oh, here we go. Get some combat. Nice. Come on. Oh, I should have killed him. Oh, he's leaving. Here comes the ND red smoke bomb. I love the color. That's uh, my favorite too. Okay. Oh my god. Bro, this looks... I'm loving this. It's like I'm a kid again watching this. And that's I love the end it. Of our I love it. We hope you learn something new. And we cannot wait for oh, you man. to play Assassin's Creed Mirage when it comes out in October 12th. I like. Oh my god. I feel like. So here's the thing, right? 
I think people, like I said earlier in the video, I think people that don't under, that didn't really play Assassin's Creed 1, 2, 3, the older games that really started the franchise, I think some people might have an issue with this game because everybody's so used to what's happening with Odyssey, what's happening with Valhalla, like all that kind of stuff. But man, it's like my inner child is coming out right now while watching this. It's so um, nostalgic in a way, but also I love the new additions that they brought into the game as well. I, I love the different types of traps. I love the different types of weapons that you can use. Like I said, I love the assassination where you, you assassinate someone and you can react quickly and throw a knife to somebody. I can't remember if that was in older games, but I know for the longest time in Assassin's Creed games, what happened was I would assassinate somebody and then I would automatically trigger another person that was in the area and I would fail or whatever the case would be. This time around, if you're methodical and you take out two people at the same time, or if you don't have a double assassination attempt, you can assassinate one, quickly zip a knife over to another one, and you're good to go. This whole, like, what they showed us here is just classic Assassin's Creed. Like, this is what we wanted. I swear to God, if people get pissed off at this, I will be insanely annoyed because this is exactly what everybody's been wanting in Assassin's Creed is to go back to this style of gameplay and all of this looks so good to me um like I said character I, I will say that it is a work in progress it's mentioned behind my screen you can't see my behind my webcam but character models and cutscenes definitely needed some work the lighting is really really good in this game especially for like where it's located I think the lighting is fantastic um, the detail looks good on the different parts of the actual like landscape and stuff like that as well. It doesn't look blurred. It doesn't look there's there. It just, it looks clean. It looks clean. I don't really know what else to say, but it looks clean. I'm excited for it again. As always, we need to lower the expectations a little bit. We need to see what happens because of what's happened over the past couple years with Assassin's Creed, but there's a reason why they're going back to this style. And I think that they're going to nail it on the head and I think it's going to be a great game and I'm very much looking forward to it. This has definitely been one of my most anticipated games for this year by far because I've been a huge fan of Assassin's Creed for so many years, but the last couple of years, I just couldn't get into it, man. I couldn't get into the games. They're too massive. They're too big. Um, they got away from this style of gameplay that you're seeing here today. So let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. If you're excited for this game as much as I am, make sure to leave that thumbs up on the video as well. When this day, when this game does come out, excuse me. We will be doing a full playthrough of this game on the channel. So definitely looking forward to, uh, you know, playing this with you guys on stream and going from there. So hope you guys did enjoy the video. Again, shout out to Ubisoft for doing like this kind of walkthrough of with the creative directors and stuff like that. I love hearing the insights of what they're talking about, what they're thinking about, and all these different new opportunities, new things that they wanted to showcase and really share with us. I, I think it was a, it was a great touch. So appreciate you guys watching. We'll catch you in the next video.